Hi everyone, I'm Della, your regular host on the chat with Della. And today we're going to be talking about something really important and very interesting. We're going to be talking about starting business from the small stage, like when you're starting a business right from the beginning and then it blows on what exactly is involved and what exactly should you look out for. And today we'll be having two very important people and people who have gone through this stage and then they have even blows on to a level where they are satisfied satisfied and actually want to do more because business has to do with everything that involves growing and so today I would I would excuse my guests to introduce themselves my name is Olaf Ndeya I'm the CEO Adult Space Enterprise the parent company of www.adultspace.com good afternoon everyone my name is Sally Waino Adebo CEO of Able Cake by Nini I'm very happy and honored to be here today Today we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship, we're talking about business basically, doing things that has to involve getting money, income, um, and doing business as a source of livelihood. So my first question to you guys is what exactly do you term as entrepreneurship? What exactly do you term as business in itself? What is it when you say that you are starting a business to earn a livelihood? Ayo, did you? Okay. Um, actually, if I should explain that entrepreneurship, it's, it's a word on its own. Mm. But then, it's, it's, it's for me, from my experiences about business, business is static mm. and it's, it's very, very important. Even it's bringing, it's bringing a kind of, um, what is it called, a sentiment um, agreement in our society. Mm. Okay, wow, wow. So, for me, what's your own definition of entrepreneurship? Well, for me, entrepreneurship is a process. It's not just a coming up and saying you want to start a business. It's actually a process of um, having an idea mm -hmm. and then executing that idea and bringing it to life. Okay. So you have an idea that you want to do this sort of stuff. For example, I have an idea that I want to um, make cakes as my business and then okay. I take steps to bring to that bring idea, idea to life. To wow, that's, that's amazing. So, um, if for one, a person just stands up and wants to, talking about process now, wants to start a business, what do you think are the like steps, what are the basic steps you could give such person? Well, personally, I would say the person first has to have an idea, first has to have an idea okay. that, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, you can't just like wake up and say, I don't you want to start, start a business. It must yeah. have been a kind of inspiration from mm, the beginning. Okay. Um, mine was born out of the fact that my mom is a baker. Okay. So I was already used to the environment and mm. I already had a passion for it. For it well. So it was it, it was much more easier for me to just go into the business. Mm -hmm. So first you have to have an inspiration or an idea of what you want to do. And then you can then begin to write out steps that you can take make that yeah, idea come into yeah. fruition. Yeah, write, write down the idea, yeah. yeah. Okay, so did you? Okay, uh, for me, I think the very first thing is attitude. Attitude in a business. Um, if you are very fast to anger, you can't go to him. You can't go into the business. Mm. So the first thing is attitude. Uh, because if even if you don't know, you are not very, very good. I mean, your ideas mm. are not very standard. But okay. if you have attitude, to meet people, to talk about people, like to meet people, many people, okay. they will elaborate yes, more yeah. about that. Then, the fourth, after that, uh, after writing your objectives and goals mm. of the business you are going into, okay. I think market research is very, very important. Mm. Before you start a business, you must do know the about market. your market. Yes, okay, you know right. about it. Okay, uh, for us that we are in e-commerce, I think we you must. The thing is that you must do the market research. What are the things people need around me in my environment? I think that's the very first thing. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Now, um, boom, yeah, I'm sorry. I you did mention something about uh, market um, research. research and also that you have to meet people to be able to elaborate your idea. Now, talking about that, I want to ask, um, what is the importance of the, of people in running a business? Now, people as having relationships with people, knowing that oh, they know you, you know them, not just that, having people you are able to meet, to tell about your idea, and they can help you expand it. What, what do you think is the importance of people in running a business? Um, first off, yeah, having people around you is very, very important. Mm. They help okay. in um, 
promoting your brand they, once they know what you are doing they help to sell you if you have friends like as close as your normal friends your close yeah. friends your roommates knowing them and them knowing that you make such stuff or you are into a particular business okay um, promote you and project you out because they refer you okay my friend is doing this right, my friend is doing right. that so it's very important that you keep relationships with people people that you there are so many people that i've not met before and they're my customers based on the fact that they were referred from my from friends another person, and to classmates right. okay just random people so it's important that when you meet people you you don't just shut them shut out, them out yeah, because just, they can be of yeah they can be of help right. to you you embrace them tell them about your business if need be and okay um what i would say is that she said something the first thing you must do in business is to sell yourself before any products mm. you need to sell yourself let people know what you are up to okay let people know okay you are even passionate about what you're doing mm. I think the very first thing is to sell yourself. Okay. So meeting people, you are selling yourself. You are Tell telling them, them more what you about do, you. right? So they know that oh, this is the best the kind of person. Okay. And on meeting is very important okay. also. But then you need to sell yourself. Wow, that's that's really amazing. A friend of mine once had a webinar where he, he tagged as preach, and that was like a like a hinge on PR. He just wanted to he just wanted to emphasize on the importance of PR, and he made it he made it known that saying every like saying now every now and then about your business talking every now and then about your business makes people know more about your business and then even help you spread it so you are, you are first your your cheerleader you have to make people understand that this is what you are doing this exactly. is what exactly. um everything is all about so that's that's very interesting so now i want to ask how did you how did you bomb me like start um to you just knew that oh this is what exactly i want to do was it just from the inspiration of your mom or there was something additional to it and when you knew about it what what are the, what were the steps you took okay it's very funny <laughs> <laughs> apart from the fact that my mom bakes and is into catering generally um at first she didn't want me to start the business she was like okay, then part one you have to get your cp right so, so at, at that point i was not even my mind was not even yeah but then eventually as time went on the first thing that like pushed me to just be mad and like please can i just start baking <laughs> already is the fact that i tasted so many food cakes in this way and i was pained because i thought that my you cakes could do were more wow. and i was like why am i keeping this thing okay i just need to start i don't care i want to start That's at the right. point that i didn't want to just go and buy open and everything but my mom was just bent on chill 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 so I eventually started with passion. Okay. So um, apart from the fact that I had the passion for my mom and inspiration and everything, it was my environment kind of that made Helped me that pushed you, right? me because I was seeing that. You saw people, the need. Yeah, I saw yeah. the need. People were not making good so cakes, good cakes yeah. and I knew I could do better. Mm. So I was pushed by that. Okay. My so time. what what exactly what were the steps you took even after you knew that you had to do this? Um. Well, I told my mom about it. Okay. I told her that this business has to <laughs> start, yeah. and she, 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 she knows the way it pays and everything. So we actually planned that okay, part four is to start, and then okay. she helps me with some materials, and I added some materials. And, and that was how we went yeah. on. Oh wow. Okay, so um, first. How, um, strategizing was very important in our starting our business and knowing that oh it was a, at a particular time I needed to start and which was very important I'm sure that your mom's guidance helped you and yeah, pulled you through okay so Ayodhiji can you put us through how did you start your business and what were the things you did that you, you took to start actually it, it was very cool something uh, I shouldn't lie uh, I started trading because my mother is a trader okay and, uh, he sells provisions, you mm-hmm. know. So I took them to school, okay. even from the scratch. The thing that pushed me is that I like solving people's problems. Mm. I think that's what actually pushed me. Mm-hmm. I like solving people's problems. I don't like when uh, my colleagues are getting things out. They are they are finding it so difficult to get things outside okay. there. So I took it from my mom's shop to school, then sell to them, make my own game. Then my my myself and my mom we back in. No. Like this, so yeah, so right. Kind of true. I think um, that was what put me. Even when I started this business, www.adosme.com, I think um, the thing is that I just want to solve people's problem. Mm. I said that when I when I checked different 
shopping uh, online shopping except that oh actually there wasn't really easy shopping experience it wasn't mm. easy for them but so that was what i was what trying to create oh, so i think what pushed me that i just want to solve people's problems okay that's really great so it shows us that even as is just starting a business you have to understand that you are solving people's problems and you have, and I, we can see that that was common in both of them and what what they saw before they had to start their business but me saw that people were not making really good cakes and she decided to start uh they just saw that people were not having easy shopping and so he decided to start an online shopping that really really blows up and so whatever you find yourself doing you see that around you there's something that is lacking and you have that solution instead of keeping it to yourself why not just bring it out and make people see this thing so but me aside from cake and everything what, what do you think you personally would have done if not cake <laughs> i make hair oh, i make wow. wigs mm. um i make hair braids fixing so um, in well. part one and two actually i was making hair my mom felt that was easier than cake because you don't need too many materials. Oh, yeah. okay. So I was making hair there okay. before I to so cake. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, okay, I need you. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm a Tyler. Okay. Yeah, I learned that before entering school. Okay. So um, I love when everywhere is beautified with ties. <laughs> wow, wow, that's yeah. amazing. So yeah. I think that, that was, that was, it's part of what I could have done. If you are not yeah. doing your business. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So it shows that even while you are do, while you, you have other skills, you can still try to function in one or function in as much as possible. That's really good. Great. So um, I want both of you to say something to people who want to start, but they feel like they don't have the resources to. A lot of people want to go into different industries. For instance, your business, for instance okay someone who does not have a mom who can fund or someone who does not have the ability to have a website maybe someone's even have a shopping site that would be much more easy and doesn't have the resources what would both of you like to say to people who have not started a business because they don't have the resources we we'll go first okay I did you. okay uh, actually in business money is very important mm. anyway but it's not a forced push mm. The, the thing is that you should go to what you are passionate about, not mm. influences. Okay, okay. You know, some people want to go to this, they don't want to go to that, which is not their ways. Yeah. But the, the fourth, very first thing is that make market research of, of your idea, then push it to people. We have a lot of businesses that people are selling without even. It's not much right? Are you getting me? So there wasn't but the thing is that people see you that okay you want this, so be focused. The focus is number one. Focus okay. on one way. Don't be influenced. Be focused. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, boom. Um yeah, like you have said, money is very, very important. Um my mom helped me, yes, but I helped myself mm. at the same time. And then I'm going to set an example of a friend who um wanted to start a wants to start a business, he has not started, and um, was telling me about the fact that I want to buy everything before, buy a visa, buy all the products, all the materials, everything at once, and I was like, calm down, you don't have to rush, it, the thing is that he doesn't want to start a business until he has all the materials, uh, and wow. I was like, no, you don't have to yes, do that, just start it. first, wow. start small, I didn't have everything before I started, apart from the fact that my mom helped me something, I got some things okay, myself, okay, but okay. then, I still had to start with what I had and then eventually I got other things along the, along the line. So I just advised him to start it and then along the line he gets to come to and he's able to buy whatever it is and get whatever. Wow, amazing. Okay, so um now the next question before we go into the personal session is that um what do, what is the what do you think is the importance or the essence of community service when it has to do with business like doing charity even from your business and all that csr thing yeah what do you think about helping the community yeah, yeah it's fantastic okay it's fantastic i think uh it's one of the things you should do you, you should do you know and uh, like i i have i have uh, mentors like big gates and all that this, this this is what these guys do this is what they actually do you know it's 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 a payback mm, it's coming a payback back to the society it's coming, right? back. it's coming back and plus give the value okay, that, okay i'm here people must know that I'm okay here. so one of the, yeah that's that's very good okay so well for me i try to uh, when i have to i try to make free cakes for some okay. occasions that for some and for some people for them to 
it's, it's not sometimes it's not just about money, money, money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Sometimes exactly. you just have to sure. give people, people, let them taste, show them this is what I'm making. And you might even get referrals. Yeah, and get referrals and get others from yes. them. Yeah. Um, there was a time you had a free cake tasting. Now, what was the turn of? Um, people showed up actually more than I expected. But then you read that day, so it wasn't so much. Yeah. But then people showed up, and it was really nice because there was. I don't think that anything there has been anything like that before. Okay. To be fair, yes, yes. based on my own. Research. Yes. Wow. So people were really surprised and impressed. So and there was free cakes, different flavors of flavors of cakes for tasting and drinks and. And, and I'm sure you got referrals from I that because yeah, you have, I think we, we had same experiences there. <laughs> okay. well, when we did a free transportation, in even there was very heavy rain. But mm. inside it, my team and myself, we are, we are, we are even paying people's money. Mm. Guys coming from Just, the main board, we are paying them. So wow. it's one of the And it helps even in publicity. Yes, I got wow. a lot of messages. Wow, you guys are also on Why all this kind of stuff. Wow, wow. That's, that's, that's really great. So, um, and I know Adosmint also like helps in um, giving out to charity sure, and all sure, that sure, and sure. everything. So it's very, very exciting. It's very, very great. So thank you very much for coming on this show and we are going to our personal session we always have a personal session that we struck our guests with so as um <laughs> okay so this now is the, my question to you now is what is that thing that someone ever did to you that made you say oh i'm not going to forgive this person like this it, it hurt you so much and you felt like no this person like we're gone like that's the end of our friendship yeah i think i think that's in that's the word I cannot forgive it for woman. So let's <laughs> no. no. Okay. No, okay. I don't I don't think I have such experience. Yeah, I don't really? Think I, oh if I make my dad, I'm not talking But what's that thing that made you what was that thing that made, that would have ever made you like that ever happened that made you feel No, such nothing that ever happened that made me feel so true. Okay. But then I don't think anything like that happened. So that's so serious that would make me make say, you no, say. Okay. not yet, Shannon. <laughs> okay, back well, to well, you. Well, 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 something has happened to me before that. It's one of the things that motivated me that I can never forget, you know. Um, when I was about one, I was with a guy. We were living together and all. Mm. So I actually donated, like, I dropped some money out of the, uh, what was it called? The fee for the uh, room. The room, okay. Yes. So, but people thought. It was the one that accompanied that was me, being, though okay. I met him there. So, okay. just of a sudden, he just said he was tired and he threw, he threw all my clothes out. Wow, so, really? So, I was, wow, wow. <laughs> and things, that, were very, that, that, things, were, wow. things were very hard, you know, all kind of things. But I just feel like, okay, this person did not know what he's doing. Mm. Then I just forgot this. Wow. But now, nobody can just do my Wow. <laughs> Moral lesson, yeah, just give fun. people excuses and just you know that one day look at him now. Eh? Oh, we're going to dream out. No, okay. that is one. It's coming to one. <laughs> okay. So um thank you for watching this show. Thank you. I'm always I'm always like excited to talk and make make people also enlighten you thank you so much for coming to watch this channel yeah so you can subscribe on this channel down there you see a red button subscribe and click on the notification bar to notify you on your notification um, notification bar when I, I post a video thank you very much bomi and i thank you for you coming much. on this thank show really appreciate it. so please can you share your contact or something so they can um contact you for <laughs> for cake or shopping yeah <laughs> Okay, my name is Ade Bomi Saliwaino. My phone number is 90 79 for calls and WhatsApp. Then my business on my Instagram page for my business is Evans Cakes by Nini at Evans Cakes by Nini. Okay. Please come and buy <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes, I still remain a lot in the IODG. Um, if you want to contact me, I mean, everything is online. So, adosmeet.com that is a online shopping mm, okay. uh, and um, adosmeet.com on okay. IG and uh, what is it called Twitter okay. so get on the get Twitter to, oh wow that's great thank you so much thank you so much for watching the show bye